Photoshop Elements 2018 comes with a new guided edit called Watercolor Effect. It packs a lot of punch with three watercolor effects in one guided edit. So let's take a look at it. Open a suitable photo in Photoshop Elements 2018 or later. Avoid photos taken in bright sunlight with high contrast and too many dark shadows. I'll use this photo of a young girl in a garden. At the top of your desktop, click on Guided. Click on the category called Special Edits and double click on Watercolor Effect. There are three different watercolor effects. All three are fun to play around with, but for this photo, I'll click on Effect 1, which produces a more traditional watercolor look. Depending on how large your photo is, it may take a while to render the effect, and when you finally see the effect, there is no option to adjust it. Notice how shaded areas on her skin create an edge. This is part of the watercolor effect, and it looks fine with this photo. But if you use photos with really dark shadows, the skin effect will be so strong that it won't look good. This is why it's important to avoid photos of people with really dark shadows. On landscape images, it may not be as much of a problem. Another thing to keep in mind is that the watercolor effect will change depending on the size of the photo. You'll have a much more nuanced and pleasing effect with a high-resolution photo. Step two is to click on the watercolor paper button. This is where it starts to get interesting. There are some really nice watercolor paper overlays here, so try them all to see how they affect the photo. In the interest of time, I'll choose my favorite, which is the upper left paper. And I might want to reduce the opacity just a little bit too. Next, choose a canvas texture. I'm going to choose the first one and adjust the intensity as needed. Sometimes you have to zoom in, and I'll go ahead and do that, in order to see the texture well enough to make a decision on it. And let's bring this up slightly. That looks good to me. So here we have another step which is optional, and that is to use the Refine Effect Brush to adjust the result. I see one spot on her cheek here that I want to get rid of, so I'll click on Refine Edge Brush, and here I can adjust my size and opacity, which I'll bring down just a little bit. And let's bring this down a little bit smaller. I'm pressing my left bracket key to make that smaller. And now I'm gonna make the brush just a little bit bigger and just kind of give her a little highlight there so it doesn't look like there's just a white spot. We have another option here to use the Type tool to add a caption to our photo, but I'm going to skip that and click on the next arrow. You're given the option to save your file, continue editing the file, or share it on social media. I'll click in Expert to transfer to the Expert mode. Notice all the layers that were created to produce this effect. If you're skilled working in Photoshop Elements, you can make adjustments to get the exact look you want. Here's an edited version where I added two additional layers to make some final adjustments, mainly to darken her face and neck a little. So here is the original photo and here's the watercolor version. Again, this is the more classical watercolor look. The other two watercolor options are more abstract. I'll demonstrate with this photo of lions. If I used Effect 1, I would have a more traditional watercolor look that would look like this. So you may be surprised when you choose Effect 2 and it looks like this. Don't be put off by the initial dark result. As soon as you add a watercolor paper, which you can choose from a whole new set of wonderful wild colors, you get a very fun effect. Effect 3 seems to add color to the darker areas and target the lighter colors for using with watercolor overlays, the same ones used in Effect 1. So that's how you can create either a traditional watercolor effect or a more abstract painting using watercolor effect. Of course, you can use an abstract effect on people, too, or you can stay with the more traditional watercolor effect. This is Linda Satgast with Quick Learn Photoshop Elements.